Hello, and welcome to the first ever episode of the Popular Cruising Video Podcast. I am your host, Jason Leppert, as well as editor of PopularCruising.com. Uh, you've stopped by for a show that is going to be obviously all about cruising. Topics are going to include you know, cruise reviews, cruise line and cruise ship profiles, different interviews in the industry, uh, destinations, itineraries and such, uh, news, and more. And it's going to be delivered visually. So you can go ahead and listen to us as you would any other audio podcast, but we hope you also stop by and watch us as well and uh, enjoy the added visual benefit. The frequency of this podcast is going to be weekly. Um, we're going to have a format of topical episodes, such as the one you're watching now, every other week. And on the weeks in between, we are going to be presenting to you our cruise ship reviews and tours. So you'll also have a bit of variety that way. So you can stop by every week and enjoy the show. And uh, thanks to the miracles of green screen, we can actually be coming to you at sea even when we're actually shoreside. So pretty cool there. So let's delve right into this week's topic, which is Dancing with the Stars at Sea. And this is a program that's offered exclusively on Holland America Line, and it's a lot of fun. We've had the opportunity to experience it twice now, and it's just a blast, because what they've really done is they've taken something that Holland America was always known for, which is ballroom dancing. It's always one of their more popular activities, and they've sort of given it a bit of a modern twist. And it's really paid off for them, because it's very successful. Everybody from you know grandchildren to grandparents on board can enjoy this. And it's fantastic. Um, it was introduced in 2013 uh, as a partnership between Holland America Line and Dancing with the Stars, the television program that you see on ABC, where um, you know the different uh, celebrities partner up with different professional dancers and they compete on the show there. And they've taken that experience and brought it on board. And it's available on nearly every sailing on Holland America Line. I say nearly because the competition that you can join uh, has a range of qualifying sail dates, but it's nearly the entire year. Um, they've gone about and extended this through at least the end of 2014, so there's plenty of time for you to uh, stop by and uh, hop on board and enjoy it for yourself, uh, and we hope that you do. Um, it's great because the, the nearly every sailing, what it includes is um, complimentary dance classes, and what that is is when you show up to the main show lounge, they have a video of Kim Johnson, one of the professional dancers there, uh, actually outlining the steps, and I believe they're usually steps that she's choreographed herself. And so you're actually learning a dance that she's put together, which is really cool. And from there, the professional ship dancers, the ones that are usually part of the production on board, go ahead and uh, take over and guide the class. And all the while, they're kind of looking out for people that are maybe uh, the standouts because they will go ahead and invite them into the guest competition. And that's where things really start to get exciting because uh, they actually will take people from on board. Uh, could be you, you know, so go ahead and uh, uh, hop on board and see if uh, you have what it takes to uh, be a dancer with uh, the stars here, as it were. Um, so it's great. So you, you basically partner up, like I said, with one of the professional ship dancers and you compete just as you would on the show. It's the same format. They have a panel of judges which um, are usually professional ship dancers as well as uh, different ship officers even. And they judge you and, and, and it's all uh, in front of the audience and the audience gets to vote as well. And how that works is uh, obviously you can't uh, uh, text in your favorite. So what they do is they actually have a decibel uh, meter on board and uh, based on the reaction of the audience, they um, will basically see how loud people get and that'll judge or that'll determine rather how uh, popular that person is and they combine that score with the judges and then determine a champion for that particular cruise. Now if you happen to be a uh, champion on any particular ship uh, across the entire year, if you're like the highest that from every single sailing, you actually get to go to the Champions Cruise which is going to be on December 6th, 2014 and that is a, um, a theme cruise where they actually take 15 different individuals, there's 15 ships in the Holland American Line uh, fleet, and they take one person from every ship, the best of the entire year, and they come on board for the chance, first of all, if you are chosen, I should say, you actually get the free cruise. You actually are coming on board to enjoy the Caribbean cruise for free, which is awesome. So you get that benefit, but you also get the benefit of being able to compete against 15 other competitors and uh, have the chance to win your own win uh, mirror ball trophy like there is on the show. So that's pretty exciting. And since it's a theme cruise, uh, this is one where the actual pro dancers and celebrities from the show come on board and are the ones now judging you. So that's pretty exciting. So it's a theme cruise and there's about six of those every year. Um, so go ahead and check out those dates on Hall America Line's website. The thing that's great about these extra theme cruises is that, um, like I said, the celebrities come on board, um, also the pro dancers. And the ones that are scheduled this year are uh, Tristan McManus and Kim Johnson. Those are the professional dancers. And the celebrities are um, Carson Presley and Sabrina Bryan. 
And it's great because they come on, they do question and answer sessions with everybody, they do autograph sessions, photo sessions, you actually get to go in and take photos with them and uh, get to mingle with them, really uh, experience uh, you know, the celebrities uh, like you're a star, so that's really cool. And uh, they also offer on these cruises fantastic fashion show and a fantastic production show. The fashion show uh, actually includes dozens of dresses from the show um, brought on board and they're paraded about around the pool or one of the pools on the top deck there. Um, so you really get a chance to see the, the detail that goes into these costumes, these wonderfully uh, customized costumes that uh, they actually bring on for you to see. You get to take plenty of photographs and those are created around by the lovely ladies from uh, the show, uh, also troop dancers that they bring on board. So it's a whole ensemble cast essentially that comes on board to uh, put this whole production on. And then there's the production show itself which takes place in the main show lounge. And that's fantastic as well because they take all of the celebrities and uh, pro dancers that come on board, so it'll be like Tristan McManus, like I said, and Sabrina Bryan, Carson Kressley, and Kim Johnson, as long, along with um, the troop dancers. They bring on a whole crew of troop dancers. So you have you know dozens of people on stage, or at least it seems that way, and they go about for an hour and basically perform their hearts out in seemingly every single style of dance is represented, which is awesome. And it's an hour that goes by really quickly because it's so kinetic and enjoyable. Uh, and it's just fantastic. So, like I said, you know, these theme cruises are really the way to go if you're a really true fan of Dancing with the Stars. I would highly recommend that. Um, if not, again, every, uh, nearly every Holland American Line sailing has some sort of Dancing with the Stars branded content now, and that's just as fun too. And like I said, you have the chance to compete and possibly win a cruise on uh, the Champions Cruise on December 6th. You could possibly get on that one and win your own Mirrorball Trophy. So. It's a win-win. I highly recommend it. Uh, these cruises are really, really fun. I'm not even a dancer and I enjoy them. So even someone being behind the camera, usually I'm actually behind the camera, not in front like I am today, I would highly recommend it. And a lot of spectators enjoy it just as much. So go out there, uh, get on Hollow America line and have some fun. In the meantime, I'm Jason Leppert. You've joined us for the first ever episode of Popular Cruising Video Podcast. Uh, please be sure to check out our website at www.popularcruising.com as well as our other uh, appearances. We also are a regular uh, co-host on the CruiseCast podcast, so please be sure to check that out as well. And uh, yeah, that takes care of it for right now. Uh, bon voyage, everyone. Bye-bye.